Ο Ζωζέ Μποβέ, γνωστό ακτιβιστή σε θέματα γεωργία, πράσινο ευρωβουλευτή από τη Γαλλία, συμμετείχε σε συνάντηση ανταλλαγή απόψεων με θέμα την κοινή αγροτική πολιτική και την ανάπτυξη τη υπαίθρου. Η ημερίδα έγινε το Σάββατο 23 Νοεμβρίου στην Τεχνόπολη του Δήμου Αθηναίων, στα πλαίσια του Τριήμερου Κοινωνική Οικονομία, που συνδιοργάνωσαν ο Έλληνα Ευρωβουλευτή των Οικολόγων Πράσινων Νίκο Χρυσόγελο, το Ελληνικό Πράσινο Ινστιτούτο, το Ινστιτούτο Χάινριχ Μπέλ και κοινωνικέ και συνεταιριστικέ επιχειρήσει. Ο κύριο Μποβέ μίλησε στο Αγρονιούς μεταξύ άλλων για του συνεταιρισμού, τα αδιέξοδα τη Νέα ΚΑΠ και τη σχεδιαζόμενη εμπορική συμφωνία ελευθέρων συναλλαγών μεταξύ Ευρωπαϊκή Ένωση και Ηνωμένων Πολιτειών τη Αμερική. Can you tell us, uh, Mr. Bové, uh, some things about your visit here in Athens? Well, I came in Athens to uh, participate to this big forum on cooperatives and how people can have their own economy and rebuild a new economy, not the economy which oppose people, each one against the others, but with solidarity. And the cooperative movement, I think, I believe. In industry and in agriculture and services is the best way to reorganize economy. What do you think about the reform of the cap as a farmer and as an ecologist? Well, for me it's a bad reform. I've been fighting during four years against the big lobbies who wanted to keep the money for them. The, the, most of the money is going to go to the big farmers. It's not really going to be a green farming and so the big uh, industry of GMOs, of pesticides, uh, uh, are still going to push for an agriculture which goes against the interest of the farmers and also mostly against the interest of the consumers and also it's going to destroy the soil and the water. What do you think about the financial state of the European farmers and uh, what the EP will do to support them? We know that in Europe, in this moment, more than 40% of the farmers have income lower than the, the middle price of the people. So the farmers are in a very bad situation. Unfortunately, the cap is not going to help them very much, but each country should be able to apply some rules. We can change things. It depends also about the countries. So this is really the responsibility of all the European government and of course of the Greek government. Uh, dozens of French farmers block Paris on the 21st of November. What do you think of their action? Was it justified? Well, this action was absolutely not justified. These were only the bigger farmers and these people were only demonstrating because they didn't want to share the cap money with the small farmers so this was a very 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 bad and the population in France was completely against this demonstration which was completely giving a very bad image of the farmers. The US is banning the trans fats what Europe is going to do about them? Have you heard anything? Well you know in Europe we have better standards than in the United States. We forbid, for example, almond in beef. In most countries in Europe, we forbid GMOs. So we have better standards than in the United States. We are, the problem is that there's a discussion in this moment between Europe and United States to make a new free trade agreement, and this free trade agreement can break down completely the European standards. So we have to fight clearly against this uh, new trade that wants Europe and United States, and the citizen has to be mobilized against it.